Welcome, Traveler's Champions, Heroes and Villains, to the adventure. When last we left off, we unlocked Christine, Divine, Devane, Davian, Christine. That's who we unlocked. She starts off with a pentagram and apparently one extra level, so we need the pentagram still. Let's go back to the... let's go to the library. I like the library. Why not? We're gonna also start off with... Do we get crazy and go with the birds? No. Why not? We do weird, goofy things as it is. Might as well be extra. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. This is almost a real quick episode. Getting ballsy, trying to take birds. Let's do the bibble for some aura effect. Let's get some weapon speed. Make those books rotate quickly, as that's what we need to create our whirling dervish of doom. So looking for more bibble. Why not? Eventually look for some duplicators and other such goodies. Maybe some duration? Who knows? Let's get some more pentagram action. Sooner we can get it so that it doesn't just evaporate all of our XP crystals, the better. Because that's what's going to put us behind the old eight ball. And we don't need that in our lives. Good a lot of monsters. This curse is uh, no joke. We are still with our level 3 curse. As you can tell by the insane amount of enemies that are on the board. We also have cooldown book all over the place over there. Cooldown book and the uh, money mask. Which is fine. Let's do some more bracer. So duration and cooldown would be pretty snazzy. Let's just keep Blasting with birds, I guess. Because we're looking for the other white bird. We're looking for strength as always. We'll damage up off the old spinach can. Let's get a little more Bible action. A little more speed on that. Would not be saddened. Hmm. Hmm. That's why we need to get that pentagram up a little nicer. Losing all those XP crystals is bad. It's still bad. But it's fine. We'll make it work. We're guaranteed to make it work this time. I'm tired of having our poor performances. Now let's get our spellbinder. Duration is nice. Should also work for the bird, I believe. By making them shoot a little bit longer. And it's good for our books for the moment. I mean, it'll eventually be let our book evolve. We're still looking for some strength, probably in a track door, because I would love to get some holy water at some point. That's a duplicator. So yeah, maybe the attract orb. No. Oh, that's what I wanted. Wasn't working for that experience at all there, Pentagram. This pentagram better be worth it when it upgrades. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be so sad if it's not. <laughs> if it's just like, this is kind of garbage. The amount of effort I have to go through, you better be some sort of amazing item. To be fair though, I feel like they're making some really powerful items as of late. You know what? Let's go to Rune Tracer. Rune Tracer's pretty sweet on this level. Still looking for that crown as well for our passive. So, some strength. Brown. Should have taken the holy water, actually. Let's look for holy water for one of the weapons. Probably a lightning ring to go with. Or the other bird. Probably a better choice, because we'll eventually be able to get a different weapon off of that. 
Just be some ungodly powerful monster eventually. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, it didn't eat our stuff, so that's nice. Do we take the lightning? We do. Take the lightning ring. We might ditch out on the holy water then. Which is fine, just because we have the passive required for that. And try for the... Do we go bigger? I kind of feel like... Yes. It's a pretty fun passive. Still looking for that crown. So we're looking for crown and strength, I would say, for our last ones. Uh, white bird. Works as well. Okay, okay. Everybody dial it back. We're just trying to get our fancy items. Still looking for that crown. It would be nice to get it earlier rather than later because... Uh, that's a spinach. Because... Man! The extra XP would go a nice way to not being a last item. Let's go pentagram. 45% chance not to eat up our goodies. Let's keep annihilating. So we need to have the last item here be a crown. Boom. Now what we can do is we can start shimmying to the left, right? And pick up the cooldown book. Ought to be quite useful. Let's beat up this mummy. And then chili. Make sure we keep picking up some goodies along the way. Ah! 45% chance, my butt! That's fine, that's fine. Everything's fine. We're making more experience now, anyways, with the fancy crown. Okay. Let's just keep shimmying. Jeez. Mummies are no joke. Probably need to upgrade our Bible again as we can. Anytime there's not a pentagram but a Bible, that would be quite useful. So I have quite a ways to go. To get on over those cooldown books. I feel like the map doesn't quite represent all the uh, location as well as it should. Yeah, let's pump up the Bible. Pump up the book. That's our number one source of damage, I'd say, right now. Or at least my most consistent... consistentable? Is that a word? Most consistent form of damage that I'm able to control, at least. I'm not very good at finagling those birds into the correct locations, although when they're going full bore in their opposite directions, it's not too bad. Just keep moseying. Eventually we're going to get there. Like, are they all right next to each other? Ooh. They actually didn't destroy all the freaking experience. Come on. Come on. You don't gotta get in the way. Okay, there should be a book somewhere around here then. Like, friggin' not. There it is. Boom. Get it. There's two more, so free upgrades is free upgrades, son. Oh, okay. Okay. By free upgrades, I mean get off me. Everybody, just calm your undead selves. Get out of here use a nice pentagram trigger without eating all our stuff. Alright, we could definitely use that for gate. Hey, get out of here. Hey, that works. That nice trigger. Uh, pentagram. Because we need to max that out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Upgrade that. Free upgrades is free upgrades. 
just need to go a little further. I mean, free level... Three cooldown is free level three cooldown, son. All right. Max pentagram. Beautiful. Okay, we're like... Top of the other cooldown book. There it is. Let's go ahead and grab that. Let's grab more book. More projectiles, more damage. Could be, yeah, it should be close to staying up pretty permanently. More duplicator, more spinach, or bird? Sure. Why not? Did we kill? No, we didn't. Like, did we kill the boss yet? We have not. Hey, take that. Get the... More Bible. Like, I should probably take some crown, but we're kind of falling behind on the damage a little bit. So we need to... Pump those rookie numbers back on up. See if we can catch back up to what we're putting down. Get some more lightning ring. Chill out on level up those passives a little bit here and there now. The moment. Yeah, okay. Even destroyed my food. That's fine. That's fine. That's not rude at all. I don't want to eat that floor chicken. It still had the five second rule, man. It was still good. Uh, let's get some more XP. Nothing terribly exciting out of that pile. Jeez. Uh. Works, B. Right, so we're gonna need to level all the way up. Get those red bench. Oh yeah. Or Bible. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's some, is that a red XP? It was XP. Uh, more blackbird. Why not? More crown. You know what, we're gonna hold off on the Bible maxing out so that we can get the pentagram upgraded, so more Blackbird. Because we should be at the uh, 10 minute mark here, yeah, right? Just about now. We have the pentagram maxed out, so we would like to be able to get that upgraded so that we can get our points for that. More Blackbird. Or what? Or... Spinach? Sure. Makes that damage keep creeping up without... ourselves in a somewhat awkward position. Do we... Do we nuke the boss with the pentagram and we don't get the chest for it? That better not be the case. I'll be so mad. I think that's exactly what happened, though. I think that's exactly what happened. More Blackbird. Aha! Treasure chest. That'll be our pentagram upgrade, our achievement complete. And I have no idea what this thing does, so it'll be kind of... Looks cool. Little eclipse moon thing. The gorgeous moon of all pentagram generates extra gems and gathers all of them. Okay. Okay. So it's just gonna... <laughs> sure. So instead of, like, eating up all my XP, it just keeps making XP? That's cool. Let's pump up that Bible, so we at least get something else for our next treasure chest upgrade. I assume that means that indicates when the pentagram is gonna go off. It just starts generating all these upgrades, and then that's kinda cool, I'm not gonna lie. Cool then. Really kinda makes up for eating up all the XP earlier on. 
And I mean, cooldown ought to be real snazzy for that. Some more spinach. I wonder if the duration makes it, uh... Do this XP picker upper more often. Yeah, just absorb it all up. Cool them. White bird. This is gonna be kind of a crazy build if we max this out. Not gonna lie. Oh man, it. That cooldown. Is the cooldown maxed out yet? Yeah. So if we get this on like one of the characters that has like cooldown uh, passives in, this would be insane. Let's get some more lightning ring. <laughs> yeah, it just it goes real quick now in that pentagram. That is quite the noises, though. They speed up. I have no idea if those different fancy colors that... It's already doing another one. Oh my god. That's crazy. Okay. So, yeah. Upgraded pentagram. Kind of worth it. Kind of worth it. Or white bird. Especially because it's nice to have it pick up all the uh, all the experience on the ground as well. Because that's one of the most annoying parts is being able to like, collect all the strays here and there, so... Yeah. A bigger area of effect. Bigger speed. Faster speed. Why not? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I think our uh, pentagram is going to do us some solid work. Yep. Quick bird. I'm not getting as many treasure chests at all this, but that's fine, I suppose. Bigger area. Yeah. It looks like the other colors do add a little bit. Or XP. I don't, they're not like full reds or anything, but they do the job. They do the job. <laughs> I think we're gonna have a hard time getting treasure chests with this, though. But uh, leveling up, not so much a problem. Not so much a problem. Lightning ring. Lightning ring. Did we max out the white bird? Nope. Still have a bit to go. We The only downside is we don't really have any health regen. But we're nuking everything on the screen every, like, what, 30 seconds? So, uh... Kind of hard to be too upset about that. Okay. So we got the birds maxed out. I guess we'll just pick up the XP collector before it goes off. Why not? Lightning ring. <laughs> well, there's, a, there's a treasure chest. Here we go. And more lightning ring. It's gonna give us hopefully the birds so that we have an extra weapon to pick up. It did. So that's quite beneficial. We can start working on leveling that up as well. We see stuff we don't care about. Oh, we still have a bunch of stuff to level up. For some reason, I was like, oh, there's nothing else. We haven't made it to the end yet. We're not fully maxed. Uh, what would we like with this? Either an axe or the hellfire? Put the rune tracer up? Why not? Oh, those books are uh, spinning mightily quick. Bird. Uh, Candelabra. And... Spellbind. We've got stuff that actually uses duration. Why not? Let's 
that red. Ooh, more red. I wonder if the pentagram can generate reds. Uh, lightning ring. Vandalar. You know, the laurel's not a terrible idea. We're gonna go there. Because I do believe we might have enough damage, and survivability was a questionable thought, so, you know, that's the run we're gonna go with. Get some more duration. She's getting nuked out of existence, son. I do believe we maxed out the lightning ring at the same time, so we may get that one. Which is fine, because honestly, the Bibles are not disappearing anytime soon. I don't know if the upgrade also increases the damage it would do. I still have never figured that one out yet. But it might. Just shooting rainbows everywhere, we're exploding everything on screen. This is insane, in all honesty. The only thing that can really screw us is uh, taking damage, so I guess we should be pumping up that laurel. When we can. But we will take the rainbow parrot as well, because it's awesome. Jeez. So much damage. Just everywhere. Let alone the damage and just, hey, we're going to absorb all the stuff. Get that additional charge. Extra area. I think that's a maxed out bird. It is. And then it should be getting ready to suck in more. I think that's the best part of this, in all honesty, is that, A, it doesn't destroy any of the XP on the screen anymore. But it also sucks it all in, so just finding a safe spot's not an entirely unviable option. Whoa. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get. What are we getting? The uh, bibble? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I want to see the Rune Tracer get an upgrade. I don't know what it would turn into, but uh, I want to know. I want to see that get a fancy upgrade. I have no idea what they would make the Laurel upgrade into. That'd be an interesting one. What else doesn't have one? Are those only two that don't have anything left? Don't have any items? That's a good question. That Rune Tracer up. Those are the last things we need to get. Rune Tracers and... Spellbinder. You know what? Let's maneuver our way on over to the right. Get some Stone Mask as well. Jeez. Everything's just exploding. Yep. 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 Just everything is going to die. Some more Rune Tracer too. Why not? Why not? Fair enough. The little uh, noise it makes too when it goes off the pentagram upgrade, the special moon, the gorgeous moon. <laughs> I know what it's called. I mean, we just got it. Kind of reminds me of the old, like, PopCap games, like playing Peggle and hearing balls bounce back and forth. Kind of brings back a little bit of the old nostalgia. This is also really good for doing, like, the runs back and forth to the side. Don't need to worry so much about picking up all the XP. It's just about, like, we can go there and it's going to pick up most of it along the way. Because, honestly, we're just annihilating everything right now. I do want to say we probably have a free pass to the end, but I've been very wrong before. Very, very wrong. I mean, we are level 90 at 18 minutes. So there might be a solid chance that we're looking good, but who knows. So yeah, the duration thing, I wonder if it does affect it so it creates more XP crystals. Treasure box. Get some fancy extra cash. 
so we can start upgrading our curses even more and making it even more awful to play. Because why not? It's always fun that way, right? Right. Although it's gonna get really XP heavy here at the end when we get like all those bosses that take a little bit of time to murder, and if they just explode into crystals. Oof. That's gonna be some money, which is I guess even more reason to pick up the stone mask over here. And we eventually get to it relatively soon. Next grouping or so. Jeez. Oh, here we go. Get. And just those levels. And let's just go moiter everything. Because that's how we play right now. I mean, we got the nice barrier with our Bible aura going on. We've got some shield to help keep us safe. We've got the fully upgraded parrot. We got the rune tracer bouncing everywhere. Craziness. Crazy. So yeah, I do believe we're probably pretty set for a little bit. Should be level 100 here pretty quickly as well. So yeah, my rating on this though, if uh, you get the opportunity to upgrade that pentagram, it's a nice solid uh, pickup. It is a very solid pickup. <laughs> Especially with all this cooldown reduction, good lord. What if you get the cooldown reduction with the passive character? I forget which one has the cooldown and the reserve passive, but... Oh, it does murder bosses, too. It's a very powerful pentagram. Let's do it. Get that sweet cashola. Added the coin pile. How much extra gold are we getting right now? We're at 30% curse, 47 magnet. I'm apparently not. No, greed, 50%. Alright, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's use the orb to pick up a bunch of XP ahead of time. Still got our oral at max charges, I think. I wonder if the duplicator adds charges as well, since it can have charges. Probably not, but that'd be sweet. Be really sweet. We are officially level 100. So it's all whether we can power through all the way to the end or not. I kind of want to give us the thumbs up. In fact, you know what? I'm guaranteeing it. We're making it to the end. We're going to see death come in and murder the snot out of us because we're. Pretty powerful, and we clear out the screen in literally every what 20 30 seconds. Let's count it out this time. There it goes off 55, and so we're looking for what 25 for 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Maybe quicker than 30. It's every like 18 seconds. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I think we might be pretty solid. I'm just... I wonder how high we can get our XP up here at the end. So it's just nothing but boss monsters and they all just die repeatedly due to this. Oh. It's gonna be pretty sweet. That's what, two or three... murders? When they show up, like, what, 28 minutes, I think? Oh, it's... It's gonna be nice. I don't even think we've been hit since we've had all this going on. The world's just like extra insurance right now. Plus the cooldown on it, so I don't know how long it takes to get a charge going, but it shouldn't be much more than a couple seconds. I wonder if you can get it to the point where it cools down so quickly that you can't actually run out of them. That's probably not true because there's no real iframes in this, so you just take the damage and uh, take the damage. 
just over and over and over again, which is why half the time I'm like, oh crap, I'm at full health, and I'm dead. So, there's probably never a point where you can get the cooldown that low, but it might be pretty close. It might be pretty close indubitably. To all you out there in TV land right now, just sit back and watch the show, because it is just rainbow death and uh, moon explosions. Every 18 seconds, apparently. <laughs> Alright. I don't know if this is like some ultra build, but it is a ungodly powerful one, I can guarantee that. We got the lightning ring, we got the rune tracers, literally everywhere. So much experience, almost level 110. Yeah. Oh, maybe with the cooldown we'll actually be able to... What's our top living capability so far? It's been, what, 30.06, I want to say? I think I just picked up the chicken. Yeah, I think it was 30.06 for the long sweep survive against death, so six whole seconds. We might be able to make it like seven? Maybe eight? That'd be pretty good. Right? New top living? High score? Not really a score, but... Yeah, we're not getting as much cash as I was kind of hoping. I was like, oh, this ought to be like... Cash City, right? Yeah. It's... It's okay. Can't ask for everything, right? Can't ask for everything. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> ah, so nice. I wonder if this, the moon could kill death somehow. That'd be hilarious. I wonder if we'd have to reset, though, like, if that would glitch out the game. That'd be weird. So I assume that's just how it's meant to be, like, oh, he comes in and kills you. Yada, yada, yada. This is how you end up dying. So that the game can end. Or if there's, like, a super death. That comes out, like, kills you even harder afterwards. Well, we're gonna have the opportunity in just a little over five more minutes. Alright, now we're getting some extra XP again. I guess we're also collecting extra XP because of the crown. Man, nothing stands a chance here. I think I like that make it even crazier is if we had something like the Holy Water instead of the Rune Tracer. With the Attract Orb in there somewhere. Somehow. Maybe instead of the Candelabra. I don't know. But we've got some insane. Oh, can you see? Oh, I guess. I guess it's not about killing everything because he did not die from that. But he's definitely taking some serious slowdown from all the moon action. I'm just gonna keep running in circles. Come on, Rainbow, get him! Get him! And it got him. Would you like to see? Boom. Extra cash. Alright, so that should be the hardest thing we find until the end game. Hmm. Let's see if we can find anything fun. Now I was thinking about it, I'm like, man, we should have saved that, uh, that clock for the death, it might have given us an extra second or two if you can even be frozen. Oh, well we'll find out, because there's another uh, stopwatch right there. We'll just chill out here until uh, time runs out. Another four minutes. Just keep absorbing everything we can. Get all those levels, all the coin bags. And okay, now we're getting some little extra coins from the extra levels we're getting. Yeah, the lightning and the book just kind of pushes everything back enough that there's nothing they can do. 
except give us their sweet, sweet, crystally experience. That's right. Oh, there's a treasure box over here. Let's get ourselves some extra coins. Man, we didn't even get one single uh, super chest or anything with extra level ups. This was all just straight up, I mean, getting to level 125 ought to probably help that out a little bit. So that makes a little bit of sense. Here we go. I mean, we do have the Max Laurel as well. So if that stopwatch freezes to death, we might actually be able to make like 8 seconds, maybe 10. That'd be cool. I don't know if there's ever like an achievement for that kind of stuff, but... If so, we're gonna do it. Because we're gonna try, at least. At least that's the goal. Three minutes to go. Man. Pentagram. Hey, there's... It heard me to call it out for not giving us a super chest or anything. It's like, well, I guess you can have one. I guess you deserve it. You're only on level 127. And if we were playing as, uh... The Book of Mana Girl, who gets 1% duration every level, we'd have an extra 130... 129% duration. Things would be lasting forever. And if they ever do that, like, cooldown, or even, like, attack damage or something... Whew, that character's gonna be broken. But at the same time, I feel like that's half the name of this game, is like, what kind of crazy broken build can you possibly make? Hmm. That is quite... like, yeah, I think the only thing that would make it a little stronger is if instead of the Rune Tracer, since it doesn't have an upgrade, is if we had, like, the Holy Water. All that Holy Water just standing on us in the circle. Oh be so much damage with just the birds doing circles around, constantly shooting out the spray, into the Bible action. Yeah. I think that's the only thing that would make this build just a little bit better. And even then, I am not complaining. Because nothing has really been able to get close to us. Give us some extra cash. I'd love to see it. I mean, we're... Yeah? Definitely pushing our cash flow up in the last couple uh, minutes here. For once, um, we're not... Even though we are staying right here, we're not... I don't feel like we're actually confined to, like, one location where I have to just do mini circles. Just to try and keep up with everything. It's just, nah. That's fine. Good lord. Yeah. 100, level 143. Can we get level 150? Can we do it? I mean... When we hit the boss part of it, it's highly probable. Yeah. Okay, or we can just do it, like, right now. <laughs> Level 149. So, one minute to go. So we got probably, what, three more, uh, explosions? They, they still can't even get in this. They still can't get here. <laughs> Oh, that's insanity. Level 155. Yep. You guys can't do squat. You got nothing. Nothing on me. Boom. Ringing all the juice. Oh, yeah. 160, 160, 161. Good. This ought to be the last one, most likely. Which is fine, get a couple extra levels here at the last second. Just to be that much more outstanding. Oh yeah, give us that XP. Give us the XP. Huh? Is it gonna happen? Right here at the end? Yeah! Alright, and then... Four, three, two. Jesus. 
Oh, it does did freeze him. Oh yeah. Get it, you little freezy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get off us. Get off us. Get off us. Hey, three thirty seventeen. That's insane. I thought like thirty ten was gonna be awesome. Eh, not bad. Not bad at all. New achievement: evolve the pentagram. Gave us a whole five hundred coins. I mean, I guess we'll take it. Why not? The uh, Gorgeous Moon. I guess it does count the damage you do by killing everything on the screen. So it did 16.3 million damage. With an average DPS of 13.7k. Although the Thunder Loop did come in pretty tight. Oh, well, the Parrot did kind of garbo. Did under the Rune Tracer. Good to know. But hey, we finally got it. We did... 30 minutes and 17 seconds. That's crazy. But with that, I will see you all again in the next adventure. Bye for now.